to us that way. There we go. Hi guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Uh, as you can tell by the title. Um, yeah, I made a promise on my PPSH41 video that I was working on a BAR. And I said that I might post it today or tomorrow. Hey, what do you do? I'm tired, but it's today. So, and here, here is the video. So, I'm going to meet a brand new BAR. Here it is. So, again, I follow Magical Amazing tutorial on it. I think it looks pretty nice, honestly. So, if we look at the detail now. Since I was tired, I followed the main body tutorial, the magazine, and stock tutorial. But for the foregrip and the barrels, um, the sight is a bit... Uh, so is the so is the carry handle and there's no bipod. I was tired. I was making it for about like two hours and I got, I got tired. You can't really blame me. So I just simplified these two, which I think were necessary, and I just completely forgot the bipod. Well, I didn't forget it, but I just missed it out. It still looks pretty cool though. So let's see, Put it down that one. Let's see, there's the magazine the charging handle and something cool about the site i'll show you guys in a second if you've seen this tutorial you guys already know what's coming up and right there we have the shoulder thing which i'll show you and the same mount and if we flip the whole gun around that's the ejection board so we're gonna get into the moving parts now yeah as usual um magazine can come out and something funny about the magazine is uh, Magical Amazing had to cut out a little piece for the magazine so it wouldn't interfere with the bolt mechanism. Funny as well, I had the same issue and I had to cut it in the exact same spot. So it kind of looks identical to it. Trust me, I didn't copy him. It was getting... Oh, sorry. It was getting lodged on that piece there. And now when I put the magazine in, you can see there's a little gap for it. So it actually works. So yeah, kind of a coincidence, oh, sorry, thumbs up was out of you. Kind of a coincidence, but eh, that's better. So, anyway, continuing on the moving parts, we have the charging handles. I don't know, sorry guys, I don't know how I'm going to film this, but as you can see, oh, hang on, I might, I'm going to have to prop it up against the pillow. Um, as you can see, it does work, and uh, this is also on a rubber band. Now, BARs do shoot with an open bolt system, so I don't. Yeah, I'll try using my foot to hold the camera. That's okay. Hope it works. So it works, and it is on a red band too, which is really cool. Like I said before, BARs do shoot from an open bolt system, so this isn't extremely realistic. But I figured rubber band systems are fun to do, so yeah, why not? Let's let's go for it. And you see, if we flip the whole gun around, on the opposite side we have the ejection port there. And if I again hold the camera with my foot, you can see it does actually clear. It's a bit hard to tell. For some reason, the light doesn't want to shine into the ejection port there. But, trust me, there is an entire cylinder there. So for some reason, the lighting is a bit weird. It looks pretty cool. So, that's that. We're going to move down onto the stock. This is the part of the gun we're on right now. So that's the charging handle. We're down here now on the stock. And this is actually an anchor point. I mean, it's kind of obvious, but yeah, this can actually lift up. And you would shoot at your shoulder. Your shoulder would be there. And it, this would sort of help support your, your shoulder. Because this is shooting in 30 out 6 which is a kind of powerful round. So... It's kind of good to have something to support your shoulder. That's the oh, that's the reason why that's there. And he made it moving on his, which I also figured to do. So yeah, don't know if these really count as a moving part. And I said these. Um, uh, reason being, there's actually two of these on the gun. These are like mounts. They kind of just jingle. And if we move forward, on, so this is the foregrip. So the charging handles here. We move forward. There's the carry handle, and we move here. Here's the front sling mount. So these kind of count as moving parts, but not really. 
Now this short is actually really hard to film. And believe me, believe me, believe it or not, you guys are on a pillow! Just so I can actually make the shot work. So, anyway, if we bring back the BAR, you'll see that... Now this is actually on the wrong side, it's supposed to be here. Um, but again, I was tired, you couldn't really blame me. So, like, you can actually lift this up. And adjust it. This is the rear side right here. You can see. Um, you can see at the side like that. You can adjust it. You can lower it. You can put it high, put it in the middle, lower it. Or you can put it, I recommend, in the middle position. And then just fully close it. Like that. And you have a normal side there. Speaking of sights, I think we'll just do the sight right now. Sight test. So I'm like motorcycle. There we go. Sort of works, and I suppose you could also lift it up. Lift it up, and you can basically. Something like that. And then what you could do is you could raise it. That's kind of the sight. It's kind of hard to do with an it's kind of hard to do this type of shot with an adjustable sight. But it works. That's pretty cool. So yeah. That's kind of all the moving parts on the BAR. Really, really cool looking gun. I don't know which gun I'm gonna make next. I am um, currently choosing between the B, not the BAR, I'm currently choosing between the um, M4 Super 90, that would be cool to do a remake on, and Corey's now here, and so is my brother, hopefully. <laughs> so I was thinking that I would, so I was thinking that I might do a redo on my M4 Survival, no, not my M4. Oh yeah, and here's my old one too. Um, I forgot to add a bipod to this one. Oh, I didn't oh, forget. I, 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 was, I didn't forget I was tired. Why did you forget? I didn't forget I was tired. Which I still am. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I was thinking... Says who can get out my gun, you stupid fly? <laughs> stupid. Anyway... Yeah, sorry guys. Anyway, I was thinking that I would do a redo on either my Lewis gun, Please, Lewis gun or my M4 Super 90. 90. Yeah. Super 90, Super 90, Super I don't know though. I will decide. I have no idea, but I am pretty excited for them. So yeah, brand new BAR. Looks pretty cool. Definitely an improvement to say the least on my old one. And also what's yeah, funny yeah, 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 yeah. is funny. if yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Stand the gun like this, straight up. This is like a little top view. It's all oh, straight. Okay. Hang on, it's, it's all straight, nice, balanced. Yeah. If I do it with <laughs> my old one, <laughs> it looks like, it's not like that. It's like that. It's like curved. <laughs> yeah, guys, it's really, really funny. Yeah, guys, you can better subscribe. I'm trying to get 100 subscribers. You better subscribe. I'm trying to get at least 50. Yeah, you better subscribe, guys. Anyway. <laughs> 28. Anyway. Anyway. Anyway, so that this is kind of the shape. Oh, no, it's like a domino. So, yeah, I might do the Lewis gun um, and the M4 Super 90, but I think we need more glue sticks for that, so not going to be tomorrow. No, it's not going to be tomorrow. But I think with these, like, 20 glue sticks we just had, I definitely made some cool stuff. I made the MP40 yesterday, which I still love. The MP40 is amazing. Is it tear? Yeah. Oh, I'll fix that. That's so hard. And Why did you please stop playing me? What is the PPSH41 today, and now, well... Oh, goodness! Now the what? BAR today. So, as what always, guys, bye, guys. Oh, it's so Have a great sucks. day. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah, that's what it's Smack it. Smack it. yes. Actually, no, smack the like button for me as well, please. I'm and as always, guys, um, 
Bye, guys. Have a great day.